Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, I'm gonna show you step by step how you can install Microsoft Project in your system. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first thing here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open Microsoft Edge Browser. As we know, Microsoft Edge Browser is by default. So that is why I am choosing this one. Now the next thing here we need to do is we need to type Office Customization Tool, okay? And let's hit here. And then we need to go down and I'm going to also provide this link in the description of this video so that you can directly reach this page. Just you need to check the description of this video. Now simply click here on create a new configuration. Now select 64 bit from here you need to choose office suit and in actual it really doesn't matter because it basically depends on what kind of license you have. Okay. So from here also we need to choose Microsoft project. So let me choose Project Professional 2024 and again as I mentioned it totally depends on the license we have and then again um, you know it will automatically change or update based on the license we have then um, here we have further customization option like what exactly we need so let's say I only want like to install Microsoft Project so that is why I am just turning them off now let me again click on next 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 and then here you're gonna see this option which will basically uninstall any version of office if you turn it on let's say i do not want to touch my previous installation therefore i'm gonna turn it off and now let's again click on next and keep on doing that until you reach to the last page now let's click on finish then we need to click on export and seems like we have not selected the language so let's go here and from here i'm gonna select english us as a language and again it's up to you you know you can select any language in which you are comfortable with now uh, seems like we have selected the language as well again click on export and now i'm gonna click on office open xml and now we need to select the second option and then hit ok accept the license agreement again click on export and finally you're gonna see this kind of message and it is very surprising guys because this xml that we have generated is from microsoft and microsoft itself is saying that you know this is something that is that can be harmful so i'm gonna click on keep now let's go back here and this time instead of searching for customization tool i'm gonna look for office deployment tool okay and again i'm gonna also provide you the direct link so that you can reach to the same page now let me click on download and let's download it and okay so after downloading this we need to click here on these now click on this accept click on continue select the desktop and please make sure you repeat the same steps so here i'm gonna give this folder a name let's name it P for project and then I'm gonna click OK now again click OK and then I'm gonna go here in desktop and then let's go inside this folder which was this P and now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna delete this configuration file and let's paste the one that we have created by ourselves so again I'm gonna go here back and from here in download what I will do is I will copy this configuration file and then I will paste it here okay so it is that simple now please make sure you follow these steps because most of us make mistake here so what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna click on start and then type CMD and then run it as administrator now after running it as administrator let's go here in file explorer and copy this path okay after copying it what we need to do in command prompt is we need to type cd which is change directory and then the path uh, which we just copied it here and the way we can copy it is just by making right click with your mouse now hit enter now you are in this folder and now you are basically in same directory inside command prompt now all we need to do is we need to run a simple command that will run the Microsoft project setup which is the following that again uh, you can simply copy and paste from the link that I'm gonna provide from the description of this video 
after copying and pasting this command all you need to do is you need to hit enter and this here you can see a will run your office setup and all now here we need to do is we just need to wait for a while till microsoft project get installed now we can close everything and we just need to wait for microsoft project to get installed okay and a lot of folks actually ask you know how much time will it take so i would say it completely depend on how fast is your internet and how capable is your pc as it need to download at least a gigabyte of data from internet which is again another thing so you need to make sure that you have enough amount of data available such that it can download office content from internet and finally here we can see we have successfully installed microsoft project in our system now let me click on close and we can also close this command prompt now let's again press windows button and type microsoft project or maybe i'm gonna type project and i can now see here that i have successfully downloaded and installed microsoft project in my system now here we need to accept terms and condition and then um you know you can start working on it now one last thing i would like to talk about is that license activation so again as i was mentioning in starting it totally depend on which license you have and actually it will automatically get configured according to the license so currently it shows me uh, you know the, the product is unlicensed so i need to provide license key uh, within i guess uh, seven days or one month and after entering license key you will not see this kind of message so my current subscription may not have microsoft project so that's why i'm seeing it but um, you can for sure you can use it uh, without any issue you have full-blown software available with all different kind of view that you know you would like to have so let's wrap up this video on how we can download and install microsoft project in our windows system and I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please make sure you subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content related to office productivity. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.